Hi, good morning. I'm Lori, and you're watching the Beaver Bunch. Okay, so it's not morning, but it is to me. So whatever, forget about it. Um, so this week we're talking about the um the Canadian Miss Universe pageant. Um, there was a contestant who happened to have been born male who is transgendered and um, when asked if she was a naturally born female she said she was and then they found out that she was trans so they booted her out and said that it was against the contest rules clearly stated that contestants must be naturally born females there's a petition going around to have her back in it. Now my whole thing is, this franchise is owned by Donald Trump. Donald Trump makes a lot of money. A lot of money. Um, if Miss Universe doesn't go well for him, he's okay. Um, but he owns the franchise. It sucks that he's discriminatory, but we know that he's anti-gay. He's very conservative. I wouldn't stay at one of his hotels because I know that there's so many more hotels and hotel chains that are gay friendly and support gay causes and welcome gay um, patrons. So for me, this whole idea and the outrage and the petitions, I don't think mean too much to him. I think the only way that he's going to change his stance on whether or not um, women, both naturally born and self-identifying, the only way that they're going to be able to compete in the same pageant is if somehow it makes him more money or the people that give him money are okay with it. Otherwise, it's in his best interest as a business for him to continue on the way that it is. Do I agree with this? Absolutely not. Of course not. I don't think... It, it, it's not like the the woman that was naturally born female has an advantage over a, um, a a female who was born male. I don't believe. I mean, I've seen pictures of this, of this girl. She's smoking hot. And I don't think... I mean, I think she's at the same level as any other woman that's in the contest. But I think money talks, and I think that unless people were to um, boycott his event or um, boycott his hotel in a massive number so much that it would make him think about it, I don't think he has to give it another thought. I don't think he has to give a shit what anyone says or listen to anything because he's Donald Trump and he's created a, a dynasty. And unfortunately, his dynasty can run by his rules. Um, but again, do I agree with it? Absolutely not. I wish that this woman could compete because it sounds like she um, was doing very well and deserved to be there. But um, but I, I just don't see it happening. <laughs> but, uh, but that doesn't mean that he shouldn't be harassed about it and told what a douchebag he is. Because, you know, but he won't listen. I just, I just think he won't listen. So I say the action has to have a consequence for him. And unless it's on like this huge scale, it's, it's not going to, but, um, but I wish, I wish her the best. I, I hope that this creates some other opportunities for her. It gets her noticed. It gets her more work. It gets her, you know, like as a model, um, you know, I, th I think she deserves that. And if she can ob obtain that without having a crown or a title, um, then, then she's kind of beat the system herself. So, um, maybe out of this comes something even better and maybe it has opened somebody else's eyes to say, oh, I would have never guessed that woman was born a man. Wow. She's hot. And then kind of go, oh, so it's not weird or something. You know, if somebody had thought it was weird, maybe it opened their eyes to it or maybe they were duped and they had no idea and they were like, oh, I had no idea. So maybe it just makes them not assume again um, that they know somebody's backstory or that it matters or that it matters. So um, so hopefully we we can evolve a little bit more, but I just don't think it's going to happen um, on Donald Trump's watch. <laughs> um, but 
but you know, we can dream and I think it's definitely good to be vocal, but until you withhold money from him, he doesn't care. I'm just guessing. I don't know him, but I think I do, you know? Uh, <laughs> all right. So everyone have a good week. That that's, that's all I got. Um, I think it's Michelle's birthday coming up. So, um, hopefully she doesn't weasel out of, of, um, having everyone know that she's, she's, uh, at a milestone birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Michelle. And uh, everyone else, I will, I'll see you next Tuesday. All right, bye.